Uh, we know he's going to play his wolf, but we should be able to kill it before he declares it as a blocker. Right, like as soon as it touches the field here, we're going to pop that off. Right, so he can't be declared as a blocker. He's out of mana, and that's game. We beat down Simic Flash. Took us a little bit, but we got there. Um, I can't stand. Good playing. morning. Welcome back. Thanks for watching Hello Good Game. Today, we're going to have some salty food for breakfast. Uh, salté food. Um, this takes everything that you hate about um, Oko's deck. Uh, and then it adds everything that you should also hate uh, on top of that. Uh, really, it's just Noxious Grasp. This is dealing with uh, other green cards. Massacre Girl will deal with uh, those aggro decks as well. So we're just using black in this deck as a splash of utility. Um, obviously, there's a sideboard, but we're going to be playing strictly best of one today. And then tomorrow, we're going to hit up best of three and really explore that sideboard with all of its options. Uh, Hydro Crisis is great. Nessa Who Shakes the World with Hydro Crisis is absolutely amazing. Um, we have Black here as well with Raskus Golgari Queen. Now, I don't know why, but a lot of people are absolutely terrified of this. Uh, Hermione's 3 ability is going to eat opposing Okos, and uh, the plus 2 ability is great when we're sacrificing our own food, um, just for that draw effect. <clears throat> when we break the deck down, Card by card, we have four Gilded Goose, four Noxious Grass, four Once Upon a Time, four Paradise Druid, four Oko Thief of Crowns, four Wicked Wolves, four Varaskis, Golgari Queen, two Massacre Girls, one, uh, sorry, four Nissa Who Shakes the World, four Hydroid Crisis, one Island, two Swamp, five Forest, four Watery Grave, four Overgrown Tomb, four Breeding Pool, and four Fabled Passages. So that's a lot to spit out. And like I said, this is going to be identical to our Simic Aggro deck except for the fact that it has the black splashed in to deal with those opposing threats. Noxious Grasp, destroy target creature or planeswalker that's green or white, you gain one life. Goodbye, questing beast. Massacre Girl has mana, she's a 4-4, and when she enters the battlefield, each other creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn, and whenever a creature dies, an additional minus one, minus one goes out to the field. So, I mean, we're not going to get into it too much. Obviously, Hydra Crisis is our draw effect. Massacre Girl's ramp, or sorry, Massacre Girl is... Um, Kind of like a field wipe. Nissa is ramp. Uh, Golgari Queen is our win condition slash and draw engine. Wicked Wolf is uh, a removal option, I guess. Oko Thief of Crowns does everything. Paradise Druid ramps. Once upon a time fixes our draw hands. Nox Noxious Grasp removes and Gilded Goose ramps. So uh, ramp removal, basically. Um, let's see how we make out with it today. Uh, if you enjoyed listening to me butcher that deck list, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, all our subscribers are entered in to win up to 500,000 gems. That's half a million gems, you guys. So don't be shy. Put your name in that hat. Click that subscribe button. It's right down low for you. And uh, when we look at our YouTube analytics, 80% of my views are not coming from subscribers, which I am absolutely flabbergasted about. So... If you're watching this video and not subscribed, subscribe. I want to give you some gems, and I want to help grow this YouTube channel, right? Uh, we recently competed in the MCQ. Had a lot of fun there. Um, obviously, we didn't do as well as we would have liked, but uh, we did sneak in a couple wins against <clears throat> the world's greatest Magic players, which is a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to uh, kind of fine-tuning my best of three skills and getting in there next season as well. So I'm absolutely going to keep this hand. This is everything we want to see. We have that removal if need be. Um, sometimes this is a dead card, but we'll see how it gets us there. Um, so we're going to do our Once Upon a Time and Goose this turn. I'm going to take the Krasis and I'm going to pay a life for the Goose. Uh, we're going to pop our Paradise Druid next turn, and then hopefully we have a turn 3 Nyssa, potentially. I'm hoping. So it looks like it might be standard blue.
I'm not sure where that's going to get us, in all honesty, but let's see if uh, our druid gets countered here. No counter. <clears throat> We're going to pass. And uh, I'm sure we'll see a Brineborn Cutthroat come down to the field. Once upon a time. Now this is also one of the top meta decks right now. Um, so we see a Night Pack Ambusher. So we know this is Flash. We see seen Brineborn hit the field. And there he's paying life to have that counter spell up. So we actually do screw the pooch here a little bit with this Fabled Passage because we're not going to be able to get that where we want it. Let's just keep testing the water, trying to pull these counter spells out. There's another Gilded Goose. We're going to pop a Passage down. May as well sacrifice that now. Obviously pulling a Forest for Nyssa. And that's our turn, kids. We have a uh, Noxious Grasp up, or Noxious Grasp, so we're able to remove his Night Pack Ambusher, so we're not too terrified of the situation, but, I mean, it could definitely be better. Let's just try to go for it. Sacrificing of food. All in the name of counter spells. Uh, we do have two Nissas though. That's why I'm tossing that away rather than uh, an Oko. Because that's a one of in our hand. And at least this way, we're dealing with the duplicate issue. I mean, I'm sure he has a counter. It's a flash deck, right? That's what it's all about. So that's a little bit of a bummer, because if I went with my Oko and he still only had Quench, <clears throat> he would have gone through. He's missing that second uh, forest, though, for quite a few things. His Frilled Mystic is not live. Uh, the Snipe Pack Ambusher is not live. We're going to try to Oko now since we pulled a second one of him, right? Just trying to keep all of our uh, value still in our hand. We don't want to be just throwing stuff away to the wind. Quench won't work. I could pay two for it. And a gate. There's so many things, right? Sinister Sabotage. <clears throat> I guess we could leave that. So against the flash deck here, uh, obviously thinking ahead to our sideboard options. Um, Veil of Summer should be our, our go-to here against another blue deck. Just that, especially when they're countering, right? Because then we're going to get a draw. We're going to block their counter. And, uh, yeah, that's just good value. This is our fourth land, at least. So it could be much worse. Um, let's try to get that Oko out. I'd rather lose Oko than Nissa if I'm being honest, because Nissa really combos with Hydra Crace as well.
and then we can still quench if need be. We've gone through two counters so far. Four cards left in his hand. I mean, I'm imagining one of them being a Frilled Mystic as well. Um, and these, these are something. I don't know what they would be. Um, probably just hard blue counters. <laughs> they could be counter creature spells, right? That could be his trouble. And he's holding onto that for my uh, Hydroid Crisis. So we're tapping our druid. Our oko does hit, which is pretty gosh dang groovy. We're going to make this food and elk for us just as another blocker. We're going to pass our turn here, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we have 15 life left. Obviously, a flyer is going to get in on our Oko, free of charge. A brazen borrower, that's a little bit of a problem as well, but it could be worse. We're going to lay in with the goose block. Does he have the counter? That's, that's the question. No. Okay, so this is fine. We can plus his cutthroat into an elk now bring it back down to size, and then we can trade with our own elk, right? Oh, oh, oops, 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 oops. Just kidding. Brian will cut throat the heck out of that. Goodbye. Via nauseous grass. So we just turned his creature green so we could make use of this removal card. So the timer did get held up, but I think it's just for his Brazen Borrower. Which has flying anyways. No attacks. Let's hold off here. Does he have another? No, okay. So this is getting played as a creature. It can attack because it had flashes played at the end of his turn. He gets his second forest. Okay, so this just got worse. A lot worse. Um, it is tapped, so this is gonna be our last free turn. This is fine, that could be much, much worse. Nissa who shakes the world, no counter, no counter, no counter, no counter. It hits. It hits. So we're bringing a forest into play. Let's go for the plus two to keep us alive. I think we go all in this time. His brazen borrower was on the field and tapped, so it's not going to kill our elk or our forest. 
he still only has one forest available, so we're free from his night pack ambusher, which we also have our noxious grasp for. He puts Nissa back to my hand. Interesting. <clears throat> All right, we do have eight on the field. Varaskas, Golgari Queen. That's pretty gosh darn good, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, let's go as aggro as possible, though. Uh, we know he's going to play his wolf, but we should be able to kill it before he declares it as a blocker. Right, like as soon as it touches the field here, we're going to pop that off. Right, so he can't be declared as a blocker. He's out of mana, and that's game. We beat down Simic Flash. Took us a little bit, but we got there. Um, I can't stand playing against Flash. It annoys the heck out of me. Uh, but let me know how I did, um, because I'm obviously trying to really improve my skill set for these MCQ tournaments. So if I had any misplays, get those down below. I really appreciate that. And if you enjoyed that match, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would also really appreciate that. Um, with that being said, we're going to keep this to a shorter video today. So we're going to only do one more match. And then tomorrow's best of three video is going to be a little bit longer, right? <clears throat> so let's see how we do. So we've seen the power of uh, just holding that Noxious Grasp in our hand. Most decks right now are running green, so I think it's safe to main deck it. Uh, obviously, there are a few decks who aren't. And in the worst case scenario, like you've seen, we can uh, make a creature a green elk and then zap it, right? We're going to keep this. We have once upon a time to dig for a forest, and then the rest of our lands are good. Well, we'll have one slow fable passage, potentially. Okay. So this is why every single deck is running green. Once upon a time, broken. Uh, people say Oko is the problem, and it, it, it is, but... <clears throat> Okay, we're playing Gruul. This means Wicked Wolf is going to be a priority. We draw no land, so we got to go in with Once Upon a Time looking for a forest. We pull out Breeding Pool, that'll work. It's going to come in tapped. I'm not looking to give a Gruul deck any free points of damage. Obviously, he can just attack with his uh, Pal Collector for two and kill me anyways. Um, but it, instead of taking four damage, we only took two. And good golly. Let's get this goose out there then. Enters tapped. We're going to hold up Noxious Grasp. Um, we're getting stomped on, which sucks. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant is great for the goose removal. Um, yeah, I guess let's hold the phone there. These two wicked wolves are going to carry us home. And hopefully we get Nissa out before we're completely dead. <clears throat> I 
and we're going to zap this pelt collector as well before it gets too big and too bad uh because at a certain point it's as big as the questing beast right so always taking forests here every single time we're gonna attack this paradise druid while it's tapped just limit his mana because he goes uh from five down to four which is great ending our turn here uh we basically stopped his bone crusher giant from attacking as well unless he's sitting on an ember cleave which would be uh pretty cool of him All right, so we're declaring ourselves as a blocker. He does put Ember Cleave on, so it's a good thing we did do this. We're gonna sacrifice this food. Uh, we're indestructible, so we're gonna survive, uh, but we are taking, oh, what, six damage there, All right? Quite a bit of damage. Wolf's alive, his giant dies, which is really, really cool. And then we're going to take that turn to just start pumping. Pump and pump and pump and pump. We're going to decline, submit zero. We just want the plus two. That's what it's all about. And you know what? He could have haste. Gruel's got a lot of haste, guys. We're not going to win if we wait, though. We have to go all in right now. We have to hit him hard. We have access to Wolf next turn if it doesn't have haste. Um, God, Ronas does not have haste, you guys. Interesting, 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 interesting. Sack the food, draw a card, another Golgari Queen. Alright, let's just take a little gander. What do we need? I need a huge Hydroid Krasos, is what I need. Uh, no attacks, sadly. And turn. Um. Ah, shoot. So that kind of screws us. We're taking... Oh, he'll hit for 12 and we're blocking 4 of it. We're taking 8 damage here. That's game. Ember Cleave, Ember Cleave, Ember Cleave. Who are you? And then he bashes us for an extra 6. So unfortunately, we lose this second match uh, to Gruel Ember Cleave. It's incredibly powerful. Uh, and God Eternal Ronas is not someone who I've actually seen in that deck, so that's a unique submission, which is really cool. However, uh, we're one and one. We're gonna call it quits there. This is a very powerful deck and uh, a big portion of the meta right now. Obviously, Embercleaf is a boss uh, right now as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're giving away a ton of gems. And uh, if you wanna engage with us more, join the Discord. And we can chat there literally all day long. We've got a bunch of people in there. We're always talking. And uh, yeah, that'd be cool if you joined as well. So thanks for hanging around. And we will see you guys all tomorrow with the best of three video. Take care.